Okay, uh, hey everybody, this is Jeremy, and I am making this video as a response to a viewer wanting to use external storage with a Nextcloud Snap install. So when you go down to the description area, there will be a couple of links that I used to get through this process. But first, um, let's take a look at what we've got here. So I have mounted the external drive dev sdb1 on media slash next cloud. All right, this is following along with the tutorial information that I located. What we're going to do is I'm going to switch back and forth between my terminal and the tutorial and we're going to work through the process. I have already created an administrator user. So this is the set of instructions we need to follow. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the Nextcloud config.php file. So I'm going to copy that and head to terminal. And you need to use sudo for this. var snap nextcloud current nextcloud config config.php. And we are going to change data directory to point to our new location. So control W. data directory so we have currently this line here we're going to go to the end of that and we are going to put in our new path so the new path is going to be media next cloud data make sure you keep the single quotes Save that file. We are going to stop and disable the next cloud instance. And that will take just a moment to do. Next cloud disabled. Then we're going to do this command here, copy, and paste that in, sudo move var stamp next cloud common next cloud data to media next cloud. Okay, sudo snap enable next cloud. Next cloud enabled. What I want to do now is I want to go to our external drive and see what data is there. And as you can see, we've got the NC admin. That's the only user I've got created within Nextcloud in this particular install currently. Files external, app data. So if we drill down in, you'll see that I've got my files. Those are the sample files and documents has um, 
NC Docs, which is something I created in it, and that has all been moved to that external drive. Okay, so here's the problem that the viewer was talking about. When you move the data, you get a message saying, and I'll blow this up a little bit larger here, your data directory is invalid. Ensure there is a file called .ocdata. In the root of the data directory. Cannot create data directory. This can usually be fixed by giving the web server right access to the data directory. And it tells you to see this document on their um, website. So, first thing we want to do is come back to the terminal and lslah so the oc data does in fact exist so this means that it comes down to a permissions issue so now that we've determined that it's a permissions issue, we are going to open this link. And we're going to have to drill down through some of this documentation. So I will be back in just a moment when I find the pertinent piece. Okay, so I didn't find the reference I was looking for on the page that was given in the error message. So I did some other checking and allegedly these commands that I'm about to enter are going to um, fix things. So um, we are on slash media, so we're going to say sudo change ownership recursive www data colon www data next cloud sudo find next cloud. Type D exec change mode seven fifty um, does that need a double? Okay, so that's not working either. Okay, so they were missing the backslash. And then sudo find next cloud type F exec change mode 640. Okay, and now we're going to Disable next cloud. Now we're going to disable next cloud. Which will shut down the web server. And enable next cloud, which will restart the web server. And with a little luck. Then we come back over here. It
it's still saying that that's not got access. So, <clears throat> fuck. Okay, I'm back again. I had to go attend a Zoom meeting. So now I'm going to try a couple of other things on this particular Nextcloud install. And we'll see if this has any impact at all. Uh, one of the commands I found is you have to do sudo snap connect nextcloud to removable media. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to help anything, but I found it in some documentation. I thought I'd try it. Uh, and we'll restart the snap after this is done. And we'll see if this has any bearing at all on our issue. I have my doubts, but we'll take it for a spin and see what happens. Okay, back here at our browser. And we're still dead in the water. So, uh, long story short, I don't have a solution for this problem. Um, using Snap installs with external media is problematic. And it's not something that I personally have ever actually used. I was trying to work through this process for a viewer and obviously this did not go quite as planned. So, um, my feeling on this is twofold. First, When I've used snap installs, I normally have used them for testing purposes. Either a new version of Nextcloud has been released or there's some application or something in particular I want to try with Nextcloud and I want to spin something up fast. That being said, I still normally use a VM for my Nextcloud instances. If you couple a VM with using Logical Volume Manager, LVM, you can adjust the size of your hard drive to give you more space and this problem can be avoided. For my production Nextcloud server, I run that actually in the cloud with an SSL certificate installed and I used the Ansible install for Nextcloud that I have covered in a previous video. I am very much open to revisiting this issue. If somebody has an actual solution or can point me to a walkthrough that has a better solution, uh, the machine that I installed this on in particular um, doesn't have anything really pressing on it and so if I need to reload the OS so that I know I can do a clean snap install of Nextcloud and I know that the permissions will be reset back to the default after futzing around with them here I would be happy to take a look at that and, and make a video in the future about it. 
for now, that is going to bring us to the end of this video. My apologies that this didn't really solve a problem. But again, this is not a particular use case that I have. You would be very well served or hopefully better served by going to the Nextcloud forums and asking a question there. Or if you contact the maintainer of the Nextcloud snap package, you may get somewhere going down that route. In whatever way you find an answer, if you find an answer, again, please share that with the rest of the community here. And I would very much consider making another video addressing this in more detail and doing a complete video walkthrough. So I'll thank everybody once again for watching. I hope you'll take a moment if you made it to the end of the video to like, subscribe, and potentially leave comments down below. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day.